This video is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. Hope all of you are doing well. I got my hands on Apple Watch Series 6 and Apple Watch SE, which are the 2020 wearables from everybody's favorite fruit company. But instead of talking about the big features for these devices, like an always-on altimeter for the SE, or of course, blood oxygen monitoring for the Series 6, I want to look a little bit closer at some hidden features, some other tidbits that Apple didn't tell you when they announced these. I learned a lot making this video, so I guarantee there's one thing that you don't know on this list. So if you're excited for it, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more, and let's go ahead and get started with number one. So looking at the packaging for the Series 6 and the new SE, it's relatively similar, right? Like it looks the same as last year, maybe even the year before, and you got the watch, you got your band, but if you look a little bit closer, there's something missing. There's, there's something pretty big that's not in the box this year, and that is the charger. Apple has announced that because of their environmental initiatives and the fact that they wanna go so green, uh, they will no longer be including a power brick in the box. Now, they generously and, and graciously give you a charging cable. You know, I mean, we're, we are truly blessed to still have that in the box, but the actual brick itself is gone. To me, this is ridiculous. You know, no matter what you're paying, like you now have to find either a USB port or a brick you already have to use. I'm already annoyed by it. Now, Apple, though, is gonna do the same thing with the iPhone 12. So soon, you're just not gonna have a power brick at all. Shocking, I know, but hey, I guess they didn't become a $2 trillion company by making everybody happy. But they didn't cheap out entirely, because if you buy either the Apple Watch Series 6 or the SE from Apple.com, you do get three months free of an upcoming Apple service. Now, we all feel a different way about Apple services and reoccurring revenue, but this service is called Apple Fitness Plus, and while it's not out yet, it could actually be a big part of Apple services lineup in the future. Apple says it's gonna be launching by the end of the year, and it's not your traditional fitness service where it works on just your Mac or just your iPad or you watch videos. In fact, an Apple Watch is actually required to use the service. So with the three months free you're getting, it's going to be able to display things like your heart rate, maybe even your percentage of oxygen if you're using the Series 6, on your TV, on your iPad display to be a bit more immersive and a bit more connected than just a static video that you watch to try to get a good workout. On the Series 6, you know the headlining feature is the blood oxygen sensor. Apple's talked about it, you've seen the app in action, but what does it like literally do right now? I mean, it basically runs this little test for 15 seconds while your arm is laying flat, and then it tells you how much oxygen saturation your blood has. But Apple's actually planning to do way more with this in the future, and one of the coolest applications is for mental health. Now this feature didn't make the cut yet, but as soon as next year, Apple's planning to use this data to tell you more things about yourself. And one of the coolest and I don't know, kind of mind bending applications they're working on is to warn you if you're about to have a panic attack. If you've never gone through that, just know it's one of the scariest feelings you will ever experience. But what if your watch could prevent that from happening? Apple is working to use this blood oxygen sensor to notice changes in your blood chemistry. And before you have a panic attack, warn you that they think you could be feeling really scared and nervous and then give you guided breathing exercises in an attempt to calm you down before it gets really bad. As somebody who struggles with their mental health, who has anxiety, this is an incredibly powerful application. And if Apple could do this, it, it makes me guess what else they're working on with this sensor in the future. This is a common theme for, I feel like, the Series 6. Setting themselves up for success in the future with technology that they couldn't wait to put in, but that doesn't do a ton right this second. The Apple Watch Series 6 health features don't end there, though. The watch can also shave your face automatically. Nah, uh-uh. Um, Sorry, we gotta cut it there. All right, kid, uh, I gotta break something to you. It, uh, it's not the watch that's been shaving you. It's been me and Dollar Shave Club. We've been sneaking into your room every night. What? Yep. You told me it was the watch that did it. Yeah, I mean, it's really a miracle you look this good, to be honest. Uh, we had some, we had some close calls there. So are you kidding me? Is this real? You snuck this here, too? All right, listen. I, I guess we're just going with it. Let's just, let's just do it live. All right, so this is Dollar Shave Club starter box. Yeah, inside you're getting the prep scrub, the butter, and the post-shave do, just to be complimented by the executive handle and the super high-quality blades. When you combine it with the tubes of joy, you just get to shave and it's like the smoothest glide you've ever experienced and this is just five bucks when you use the link down below dollarshaveclub.com slash i update you're getting all of this and then it starts restocking just when you need things guys you don't have to worry about shaving anymore it just shows up 
you shave, and you've never looked better. See, it's that easy. DollarShaveClub.com slash update. Kid looks great, don't he? Apple has included some nice bells and whistles in the small print for the Apple Watch Series 6. And the first of these is the S6 chip. Now, obviously, it's going to be a faster processor, but Apple has specified exactly how much faster it is, which a lot of the time they don't do. They say it's up to 20% faster than the Series 5. And in my initial testing, that was absolutely true because the SE has the same processor as the Series 5 and it loads, you know, like 20% faster every time, every web page, uh, every time I'm using the Wi-Fi because Apple's also adjusted that on the Series 6. This is kind of big for the Apple Watch. For the first time in the watch's history, the Wi-Fi has been touched. It's been 2.4 gigahertz historically, which is a really, really old standard. Like the iPhone got five gigahertz years ago. And now the Apple Watch Series 6 has received five gigahertz Wi-Fi support. And it doesn't make a huge difference, but when you are relying on a Wi-Fi connection or you have a weak 2.4 gigahertz connection, the five gigahertz is there to save the day and make things work quicker. I've noticed the Wi-Fi only functionality on the Apple Watch is absolutely better on the Apple Watch Series 6. Now, something else that Apple snuck into the Series 6, and I mean like did not say a word about on stage or to this day has said anything about, is a new chip called the U1. Now, this might sound vaguely familiar because if you bought an iPhone 11 or 11 Pro in the last year, those phones actually have the U1 chip as well. But guess what Apple said about it back then on stage? Again, absolutely nothing. So what is this U1 chip that Apple seems to be putting in most of their future products? U1 stands for ultra wideband, and what this chip allows is for greater spatial awareness. In fact, the only functionality out right now is that on the iPhone 11, you can point your phone at somebody with U1 and they'll pop up first on your airdrop list. So Apple's got the groundwork here, but this is gonna become very important in the future, and there's definitely a reason that they're not saying a lot currently. You know when you go to buy an iPhone and you specifically buy the bigger version version with more storage, you know, like the 64 gig or the 128 gigabyte version, the Apple Watch actually has internal storage as well. And the SE and the Series 6 have 32 gigs on the inside, which is actually the same as the Series 5 from last year. Now, we don't know why Apple didn't change it. I mean, 32 gigabytes is kind of a lot for an Apple Watch. Some iPhones aren't even there yet, but there is only one size. So if that's not enough for you, I guess you just got to go out and buy a second Apple Watch. When you're outside with the Apple Watch Series 6, the screen can get up to two and a half times brighter. Now, Apple has said this and I was like, all right, that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and test this. But for me, it it maybe looks a half mark brighter because that's one of the issues with the always on display is obviously to conserve battery life when your wrist is tilted it's a uh, it's basically half as bright as before but it's supposedly brighter outside I don't know if I've got a glitched version in software or if Apple's pulling our leg on this one but if you're out on a hike maybe like you saw on the Apple ad it should be able to see your watch when you're not looking directly at it easier with the Series 6's updated always on display. And closing out this list is a feature that is so hidden that you would only notice it if you actually watched your Apple Watch charge, which, you know, doesn't sound that fun to me. And I didn't actually know it took two and a half hours to get your watch from zero to 100% when you're in normal conditions. However, Apple's reduced that by an hour for the Apple Watch Series 6. So now you can get to 80% in just an hour and 100% in just an hour and a half, where on any other Apple Watch, it takes an hour and a half to get to 80%, and two and a half hours to get to 100%. Some pretty significant upgrades there. Apple says it's 20% faster, but if you're knocking off an entire hour to get to 100%, that's a, that's a pretty significant change there, which is gonna help you with things like sleep tracking, because Apple will let you know before bed, hey, it's time to charge your watch. Now, you won't have to charge it for as long, and you can track your sleep just like you want to. So these are my favorite hidden features and tidbits for the Apple Watch Series 6. Let me know what you learned, your favorite one of the bunch, down below in the comments. Make sure to check out Dollar Shave Club again, who sponsored today's video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll catch all of you in my next one.